Um, our project cat to calf. Uh, I think this project, uh, my independent independent study project, is kind of a collaboration with G House project, which was done last semester. And this presentation will mainly focus on the part what I've worked on in this semester. So uh, the problem objective is to achieve robust robot navigation with a cheap architectural map in which case is a form plan. And this is a system overview of this uh, algorithm, the whole system overview. So with solely a floor plan, we can first use an auto mapping algorithm to extract information. And it mainly consists of two types of information. The first type of information is an occupancy map. And the other one is a list of landmarks. Uh, apart from them, we also have a sensor system consisting of laser scans, odometry, and RGB camera. And the computing system consists of mainly three modules. The first, the first module is the planning and control module, which was uh, mainly the work from Jihao. And the localization module is the focus of my independent study project. And the other one is the landmark module, which was also developed by me. Um, and the whole system output should be an action that comes out from the planning and control module and the post estimate from the localization. I will start with an auto mapping. So what is an auto mapping process? It converts from an architectural floor plan uh, into an occupancy grid map for navigation and a, uh, a list of semantic landmarks, which consists of class names, positions, and orientations. Those will be very useful as a reference when doing uh, the uh, localization improvement. So first, I will introduce the landmark detection part. Uh, there are, when, when robot is doing navigation, there are many landmarks it can detect and those landmarks will be very beneficial for the localization module as well as a map update. And uh, the process is as follows. First, we need to collect data, our own data, because the indoor environment is very different from uh, the outdoor environment where we can get the data sets from uh, online. And those data sets are usually taken from human perspective. So we need to uh, manually collect and label our data and use that to do a fine tuning of uh, the YOLO model. And then we can see that uh, using this fine tuned model, we can achieve real time landmark detection. And then uh, I've developed a, an algorithm to uh, use this detected landmark to enhance the localization. And it's called the landmark projection and matching algorithm. The algorithm goes as follows. So um, it's first, uh, so it loops uh, inside each particles. And for each particle, it tries to find uh, the difference between the observed landmarks, which are the detected landmarks, and the expected landmarks to be seen, which are the seeable landmarks. So the first step would be what landmarks are seeable from the floor map. And we define that seeable should be not blocked and within sight. Uh, we can see that from this figure below. Uh, if the robot is navigating and is pointing in this direction, which means that it's, it's uh, navigating from right to left, then using this field of view and uh, the maximum distance that can be seen, we can calculate those landmarks as seeable. We might, you might want, want to say that why those are not seeable because those landmarks, they would be blocked by the walls. And we can use a ray marching method to calculate the minimum distance between robots and uh, those landmarks and only if the, the distance is equal to the minimum distance, then those landmarks can be seen. So this is the way we can 
uh, find out what landmarks can be seen. And the next step would be transform those landmarks from the world coordinates to the camera pixel. So we can compare those two sets of landmarks. The transformation can be done in series from world to robot using particle posts and then from robot to camera using camera extrinsic and intrinsic matrices. After that, after the transformation, we can then compute the distance of the seeable landmarks in the camera frame and the detected landmarks also in the camera frame. Since we don't know the relationship of those two, it might be that we've seen uh, less landmarks than expected, or we, it could be that we see more landmarks than expected. So I propose to use KNN, K nearest neighbor algorithm, to uh, compute the distance between the expected and uh, the actual seen uh, landmarks. Uh, I didn't list it here, but we actually use an average distance instead of a total distance because the number, the number could vary. And then after computing the distance, we can update the weights of each particle in, a, in reverse of the distance. So using this algorithm, we can see that uh, if we don't use landmark detection, then the localization is uh, somewhat correct, but not too not robust in the narrow hallway because we can see that particle distribution kind of flatten out. Uh, so it kind of struggles in the hallway. However, with landmark detection, uh, we can do uh, the la distribute particle distribution correction. And the first correction happened here. And there is actually a second correction happened around here, but I didn't show. Uh, so we can see that with landmark detection, enhanced localization, uh, the localization performance can be improved, especially, especially at places like the hallway where the features are uh, very, very not obvious. Um, so we, I can conclude with a um, demo that kind of shows the whole system input is um, the floor plan and uh, the we worked out a planning um, planned route, which is in the blue line here. And also we can perform localization, which, uh, which are the particles here and estimated poses are the red arrow. This is from um, the human's perspective. We can see that robot with solely floor, floor plan input, it can compute a good trajectory and uh, follow those tra trajectories and um, smoothly navigate the Levine Hall. So um, uh, the conclusion of this whole pro project is that we've developed a whole pro pipeline process to, um, to have robot aut autonomously navigate um, an indoor environment with solely um, floor plans as input. Yep, I guess that's it. <laughs>